So what type of processes uh, one needs uh, besides all the training manual, right? Because now you're inspiring other entrepreneurs to adopt this uh, model and uh, perform at, at the, the locations that uh, they open. What type of SOPs, materials that uh, one needs to be aware of if they're going to work with other entrepreneurs with their locations? It's, I can say it in one word, everything. everything. They need the answer to everything. If a franchisee has a question, if there are two kinds of questions, right? A question that only one franchisee is ever going to have. And you don't need a system for that. But if dozens of franchisees are going to face, what kind of desk do I buy? What kind of computers do I buy? How much do I pay my employees? How do I find my employees? Any question that's that is going to be asked by a dozen people or more, you need to sit, you need to create a system in advance to answer that question. You don't wait for them to ask it. You tell them in advance. You probably have then some kind of library that they can access. Uh, yeah, have you know, training materials, so like meetings, conferences. Uh, how does that, what that looks like? Yeah, the, uh, yes and no, right? We have everything down to a science. You get a huge operating end. But I learned long ago that it's anti-American to read the instructions. Right. If you have a problem, you have to pick up the phone and call. call. Or maybe once in a while you'll email. So you have to add. So it all comes down to communication. It all comes down to being available when they run into a problem because they don't look, they don't carefully go to their like the dictionary or you can't Google it. Or, or you could Google it because we have it online, but they don't. They want to talk to some human being. But you supplement that with, we have 50 calls a year. And this is what you need to focus on this week. And during the tax season, it's twice a week. And I'm on calls saying, all my franchisees, this is what you need to focus on this week. This is the type of marketing you need to do. This is neat, what you need to watch out for. This is what, what's going to happen this week. And so, yeah, communication, you... One of our principles is communicate, communicate, or communication. I, it's something you could never stop. The telephone game where you go around and tell someone something. But the good news is in my companies, they get to hear it from me. So it's not diluted from people throughout the organization. Because if I told five of my executives something, and then they told their 20 direct reports, and then went, went out to the franchisees, if the message would be totally biased and changed, and some of them are going to change it because they don't believe it. Some of them aren't going to understand it. And it's good having a national, so we have national convention. We have national trainings and phone calls to supplement all of that to make sure that we communicate as effectively as possible. It's one-on-one -on -one calls, group calls. Like, how do you keep up with all that? Oh, that, no, these are national calls for every franchise. National, so we, uh, yeah, we have a we have fifty in ATEX, for example. We have fifty calls a year that are for every franchise in the system all at once. Mm -hmm. Now we also have regional meetings and regional calls and one-on-one, -on -one, but there's fifty standard calls, and mo most of them are during the text. Is there, did you have to build a, a custom system to manage and uh, see the dashboards uh, for all the locations? Like, how do you? Or uh, all, all, all of that's available. There's CRM that, are, that even specialize in franchising. So all this, we had to back in the 90s, but now it's all available. What about the marketing? Like, we, you Let's say you're trying to be or already a national brand, and then there's also each franchisee in their local market. Who's responsible? Like, how do you position it? I guess every franchise is probably different, right? It's not the same model that everybody follows. Sure. Yeah, and when you say every franchise, you mean Zoom and Groom and Groom is different than Apex franchise. Yeah. Or different. Yeah, different. like, a, for example, when I had a franchise, I was a franchisee, we would buy leads from our corporate, mm -hmm. right? So they did the marketing on a national level. They promoted their site. And I see other business types 
where each uh, franchisee have their own websites and they generate their, their own leads. They do they get the frameworks, marketing material, but they're responsible to do their own marketing, their own sales. In each of ours, our we teach the franchisee to do it. And it it can be down if they're not good at it, then we will go hand in hand and walk them through it. For example, one of the one of the things we do in, is call our customers and see how we've done for them and ask them and then ask for a referral. We get our customers love it. They get a higher retention. They get more referrals and they get to um, see on the fly how they're doing because it doesn't matter if you or I think you're doing a good job and, and only the customer matters. So what we'll do is if a franchisee is not good at that, we will take them or their employee and get on the call with them, and you listen to how we do it. So you hear, we're going to call your customers, and you get to listen in on how the calls go. And you have to be an idiot. The, the script's the same, for, right? So yes. after 10 or 20 calls, you got to be an idiot if you don't get how to do it. Is there then uh, specific uh, qualifications a franchisee uh, owner has to have when you recruit? to see if they're an idiot or not is do you, you said that, okay we need thousand leads to get let's say 10 locations do you like how do you qualify them basically it's not only for yeah, that to you. agree you also need to agree as a franchisor do you want to work with such an individual i wish there was some qualification that i could just say okay check a box yes or no but the single quality that differentiates winners from losers successes to failures isn't how smart they are, isn't how educated, isn't how experienced. My job is to give you the best system on the planet for this industry. I've been doing that. This is my 55th tax year. So I've completed 54 years. In a week from today, it'll be, I've completed 55 years. Right? I'm going to give you the best system in the industry. What's your job? Your job is to follow that system. Follow, follow that system. 